sexually shameless, binge drinking, antisocial rebels. We know them as Ladettes. We like the old one night stands, can't go wrong. It's been so many I've lost count. More than I've had hot dinners, I reckon. Get pissed, shots, jumping about, arguing with someone. For some people, I am too much. It's just like, oh, this girl's just scare out my face. They're a blight on society, and it's a phenomenon that's getting even worse. So once again, we're turning to our traditional cure for this very modern problem, reopening the doors of Eggleston Hall, a tough 1950s finishing school where the teachers are unwavering in their antiquated methods. Telima grandiflora atropurpurea. Excuse me! Never, ever do that in front of me ever again. All right. But this time, the intake are ruder, Drunker, looser, and more unteachable than ever before. Into bed, just on the floor. I think this is probably the worst of the worst. My name, just for the record, is not hardcore. It's Harvard. It's going to be a grueling five weeks. And at the end, only one girl will be crowned a true lady at a lavish graduation ceremony. She's fabulous breeding stock. I would be delighted to have her have a child with one of my children. Eggleston Hall Finishing School, the remaining seven ladettes are almost through their first week. Since failing last night's test of drinking in moderation, the girls are now suffering the consequences. I was so, so sick. Exactly. The teachers are equally sickened by the ladettes shenanigans. They were shouting, they were spilling wine, and rude. Very, very rude. It's alcohol. Yes. All the time. But the staff only know the half of it. Mrs. Schrager soon discovers the true extent of the Ladette's debauched evening. The fact is, I can't believe it. it's everywhere. When did, they, when did they do this? I mean, we only left them. Eggleston Hall rules have been severely flouted. I have just come in, and what I have found is absolutely deplorable. Food on the wall. Food on the floor. Food. Who is responsible for this? Who? Were you responsible for this? I can't remember. I may have been a part. I probably was a part of it because I can't remember anything apart from going to bed. I am completely and utterly appalled by your behaviour. Sorry, Mr. Shrek. I'm ashamed of myself. Right. You're going to now clean up the whole of this school. With their first big test coming up tomorrow at Manderston, the girls should be studying. Instead, they must clean Eggleston Hall from top to bottom, including the lavatories. Five fuckers now weren't expecting that. <laughs> Laura Ward is one ladette who feels no remorse for last night's depravity. It's worth it. I won't change last night. <laughs> Hell no. The wannabe lawyer's choice of career seems at total odds with her defiance of authority. I reckon there's going to be a lot worse at punishments than this. Because there's going to be a lot worse behaviour than that last night.
Bolshe Rumford rebel Nicole Hart is no stranger to trouble. With one arrest and an ASBO under her belt, a good night out for Nicole is alcohol fueled and fiery. Hit piss, bar, shots, jumping about, arguing with someone. The 18 year old never holds back from a good fight. If someone took the right piss at me or hit me, I would not think twice about it back. But it hasn't always been this way. The tragic deaths of two of Nicole's brothers eight years ago sent her on a downward spiral. I think being angry for such a long time is a big part of your life. And you do actually find it hard to laugh and you find it hard to smile and you find it hard to love anything or anyone. Since the loss of her brothers, Nicole's parents have found her impossible to control. Nicole did get stuck in the angry stage for a long time. She rebelled against everything and everyone since the age of about 13, right the way through. They see finishing school as a last resort for their tempestuous daughter. 